Eric Mwad with Mwad.com, March 10th, 2016. Let's take a look at the daily chart for FCX. Obviously here the stock has had a major run moving from about 350 lows here to the highs above 1050. That's good enough for her 200% gain in oh about seven weeks. So a nice gain. Now the question is if we use the daily chart what can we see here? A couple of observations is I think here what one can do if you want to make a fresh entry or if you want a reason to own the stock wait for it again to break out or at least insist that it breaks out above the recent daily closing high the level to watch there is 9.86 if it can break out after already recording more than two days of rest since recording that daily high any breakout now will be suggesting that that would be a fresh move now that breakout would be similar to the recent breakout here at eight dollars for a nice swing trade there was also another breakout recently here for another nice swing trade so if you really want to play the next momentum move, one is better off waiting for the stock to move above 9.68. The reason why you want to wait for the breakout is somewhere around here there seems to be some type of resistance and I'll show that to you in terms of the price. If you take a look at the daily closing here, daily closing low, daily closing low there, extend a line from those two points. You can see that somewhere around here the stock is coming back and testing that break line and it seems to be stalling so a breakout would suggest that it has cleared that resistance that's why it's always good to have resistance uh, established and also that's why it's always good to insist that the stock breaks out above the recent daily closing high of 9.86 so that's one view the other view is pretty much if you take a look at the daily RSI, RSI is holding up very well. In fact, if you take a look at a two year, let's go to a two daily. So what we have here is a two year daily chart and I'll draw a line somewhere around 61.8, somewhere around there. And this line has been a problem for the stock going back to the highs in the higher 30s ever since we broke through that. The stock here made a high and we broke through 61.8. We broke through 61.8 here again for the highs here in the 20s in 2015. Again here we went above 61.8 and back above it with uniform action which was for the highs here in October and now we are holding above that. So clearly for momentum the stock needs to hold its daily RSI above that 61.8 level at least for now that momentum looks to be intact be aware that if the stock cracks back below 61.8 as has been the case over the last couple of years that might lead to a pullback but for now the best way to look at this is the stock is holding up very well if it's to trade higher it definitely on the daily needs to break out above this level here which is the previous recent daily closing high of nine point six eight eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s